Greetings Deer Park staff and students. The topic of this just a minute video tutorial is the Typing Club Touch Typing application. Some experts believe that touch typing is the most important computer skill that children can learn. It can help them become more productive because time saved typing means more time for more value added work. Learning how to type quickly and efficiently can be an instant return on investment. That's because it can take as little as a week to double typing speed. And most importantly, touch typing is an incredibly transferable skill. You'll be making use of the skill whether in school, at work, or even at play. Hardly any other skill is this versatile. But educators have so much on their plate already. Who has the time or the background to be able to teach their students to touch type? But we are all concerned that our students have this skill, especially in light of the near future online testing environment. The Typing Club application just might help you fill this void. Typing Club is a very simple application that allows a user to learn how to touch type by progressing through a scaffolded series of lessons. If the user already knows how to type, this will help them improve their accuracy and their speed. And here's how it works. When you first launch Typing Club, you'll see a page with a series of lessons ranging from very easy to more complicated. Pressing on the arrow on the right hand side will leave you to even higher or harder lessons. Since you'll be scaffolding on what you learn in the first lessons, you really shouldn't jump around. You can begin typing right away but you probably would like to save your work so you can see your progress. So what you need to do first of all is go over to this area over here and click on Save Progress. You'll be brought to this page where students now can sign in using their Google email addresses. So we'll just click on Google and another screen will come up. All they need to do now is to place their password in the password field box and then sign in. And when you come to this page, just say accept. And now in subsequent visits to the Typing Club, there'll be a log in button over in this area over here. When they're finished, they should log out. So what this will enable them to do is save their progress. If they start on lesson one and then they do two and then three, the next time that they come back in, they'll be all set to do lesson four. First lesson starts with finger placement and progresses to having the student do a drill using the letters F and J. A practice lesson is set up and you can see that this is for again J and F, but also down at the bottom it will show you the correct fingers to use for each of the letters. And as you progress along, if you make a mistake, it will show up as red. And then you continue through the whole exercise and then it will show you down at the bottom your speed per minute and also your accuracy. After the last return, what will appear then is a scoring. And sometimes what will happen is you'll get a advertisement because this again is a, a free site and it will give you a star rating, which is behind the banner right now, which will tell you how well that you've done. It will also give you a, a point average and give you your speed and your accuracy and also how much time it took. If you would like to, you could redo it. Clicking on next will bring you to the uh, next scaffolded lesson. If you want to go back to the menu or the first page, you would just click here. Again, the first page is where you'll see what lessons you've done already. What the stars indicate is um, how well you did on that lesson. And uh, what you try to do really is progress to the point where you will have three stars showing, meaning that you're accurate and both speedy at that skill. What you might want to do is go back in and do it again until you can progress to the point where you have enough speed and accuracy to show three stars. So it's really a very, very simple typing program that your students can do on their own or hopefully practice at home.